You know, when you go digging, you come up with some interesting stuff. It looks like I might have found the reason why Dick is not a certified deputy, and it might have to do something with a $15 million lawsuit. We'll get into that. We'll get into Tiffany, head of internal affairs, um, being rude, day, evasive, sir. not Excuse wanting me, to I'd answer like to my questions. And then I get to eat lunch with Dick's minions. Stay tuned. This time... Until they let you in, there's no sense of using a metal detector. How's it going? Uh, here to talk to Internal Affairs. Give me one second. Thanks. Yes, sir. I got a letter in the mail. Okay. I think it was from you. I just wanted to add, go over a couple of things on it. Sure. All right. Sure. We're doing it through the yeah. speaker. Yeah. All right. Well, let me walk around so I can get closer to you then. So. I think it's the same thing that I emailed you. Did you get my email? It is. And that's why I'm curious because it was, uh, remember when you came out, you had said it was an anonymous complaint? Yes. Uh, oh, that you attached my name to it? Because we spoke, we knew. It was yeah, but I didn't give you your name. You went and got my name. You went and found my name out. Okay. So what? What are your questions? Well, I'm wondering why you attached my name to an anonymous complaint that I specifically told Nicole that it was good citizen. That's who was putting the complaint in. And then my other. Okay. My other question would be, is it or is it not um, a violation of policy for an employee of the department, of Pima County Sheriff, to not identify? Let me answer your first question first, sure. okay? So you asked for the results, correct? You, you wanted to know the findings. So how else would we get that without putting your name on? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Which get, we knew last time. You, you could have put anonymous, not my address. You sent something to my home address, almost like okay. an intimidation type thing. And I'm sure it's merely a coincidence that Dick's minions showed up 20 minutes later behind me in line at lunch. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of weird that you would put that on there. Yes. How you would get me that information was the email that I gave you several times in the meeting that we had. So, so I'm a little asked, bit frustrated. You asked yeah. for the results. To be emailed. To be emailed on Friday. Okay. Okay. And, and then so you, attach, was, you attach my name to it. Why? To give you the information that you requested. Well, you could just send that in a letter and... And, and your second question was policy? Why don't you let me finish my questions first? So, again, if you were going to send me the results in the header of the email when you said... Hey, here are the results, Mark. That's where you would identify me. Or when you sent this letter that you weren't supposed to send to the wrong address, you see the yellow thing on there to try and intimidate me. You shouldn't, no. be, you shouldn't be putting my name on the complaint. You put it as I'm the complainant. The complainant was good citizen and the complainant was anonymous. And that's how it should be. And this is an exercise of rights. We have the right to file in a complaint anonymously with the sheriff's department or any other law enforcement. Which you did. Or did I? Looks to me like they just slapped my name on a complaint to nowhere. I want you to take a look closely at this complaint. Nowhere on here do you see Richard J. Castiger's name. Who is exonerated? Have no idea. My name's on here. Tiffany's name's on here. But Richard's name sure isn't. Or, as we like to call him, Dick. So who the fuck is this complaint against? Probably nobody. I'm seriously doubting it went against his record. I did not. You put my name on there. And you attached so my name to it. We're not moving on. I'm asking. You said I did. Put it in I, on. I answered your question. No, it was anonymous. When we so I have another question. 
when we spoke last okay. week. I'm done with this unless you have another question. I do, but last week we spoke, you said my complaint was put in an, as anonymous. Why didn't it just stay as anonymous? How about you email me any more of your questions, okay? Uh, well, I asked you the uh, why. Well, I, I, I asked you the other question and you didn't answer it. You said you were going to get to it, like you did the other day and didn't get to it. Is it part of the sheriff department policy to identify upon request of anybody in the public? I'm not sure I follow your question. Come on! In your policies and procedures okay. that you go ahead and check to see if these people are following, correct? You're in internal affairs. That would be what you do is your due diligence. If somebody makes a complaint, you would go to the policies and procedures to make sure they didn't violate any of them. Correct. Okay, and one of the policies and procedures in there is that any employee of the sheriff's department is required to identify to any persons upon request. Is that or is that not the case? I think you're kind of no, I'm not. I, I read not it here. verbally. I read it right off of the thing. I, okay. So you don't know your policies and procedures? You're not sure if uh, the sheriff department people are supposed to identify as internal affairs? Okay, so you're asking me if internal affairs is supposed to identify? And no, this is not some Saturday Night Live skit. This is real life. Like you're playing a word game again. Here, let me be, I, let me be perfectly like, clear. It sounds like you no, asked it's an easy me question. two different things. No, I didn't. So I asked you one question. Up? And email that to me. No, I'd like Mike. to do it while I'm here and get my okay. business done. Um, have a good day, sir. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? Build up a little boy's hopes and then smash all his dreams to pieces. You're an inhuman monster. I said good day. Usually we'd have no idea what Tiffany sang, but thankfully she wore a body camera today, so we will be requesting that body camera footage. Thank you, Tiffany. I assume it was to tell me to leave so they could try and arrest me later. But, you know, if they're transparent, we'll be able to find out. What do you think? Should I hold my breath? You're, you're not you're not conducting you're not conducting yourself in a professional manner Sir, this, is this is a public is a this is a public area for you to leave. this is a public area thank or what thank you this is a public area and i'm looking for an answer to my question well that shows you right there that they don't really give a shit about you this is a public area public area right here that we're allowed to be in Well, there you have it. The Pima County Sheriff's Department don't give a fuck. They're not going to answer any of your questions. They don't want to be held to account. They're liars, they're scumbags, and they're... Right after this interaction with Tiffany, I had a lunch meeting with a customer. While I was standing in line, I had the overwhelming smell of bacon. Knowing this restaurant didn't serve bacon, I figured there was some cops in line. I turned around and look who it is. Dick Castiger's four direct reportees. These are the four chiefs. I imagine they report directly to Dick. I don't have the org chart, but the one thing me and the cops have in common, I don't believe in coincidences either. Check this out right here. You see Uncle Fester on the right? I'm pretty sure I saw him come in behind Stephanie over here on the right hand side and listen to our whole conversation. Hey, I wanted to let you guys know Friday there'll be another video coming out for you guys. All right? You guys, Pima County Sheriff's Department? It's very tasty. Yeah, we've got another video coming out for you guys. Awesome. Yeah, it's for internal affairs. Tiffany Hogate over there? Yeah. It's her video. I just talked to her today. And she was rude and disrespectful. Oh, See, there you go. Yeah. I saw one of your videos one time. Are you guys, uh, maybe you can answer me a question. Do you guys, uh, are you guys required to identify to the public upon request? Yeah, if you ask my name and badge number, I would tell you. I'm a slithery little snake snack. I'm so slithery and sneaky because I'm a snack. What is your name and badge number since we're here? My name is Buddy James. My badge uh -huh. number is 1295. Excuse me, I got No, no, no worries. I interrupted you. Oh, but, yeah. 
Just wanted to let you guys know, check it out. All right, let's get to the lawsuit and why it's my belief it's the reason Chief Deputy is not a certified peace officer. News 4 Tucson has learned there's an investigation into the actions of a Pima County Chief Deputy, an appointed position for allegedly impersonating an officer. And that's because to be certified by AZ Post proves old Dick here can complete certain tasks and duties at his job that would certainly be detrimental to his lawsuit. Let's take a look at what he'd have to complete. Right here you can see on the first uh, requirement is a 99 yard obstacle course. Seems simple enough. Then we got a body drag. Lift and drag 165 pound lifelike dummy 32 feet. Then a chain link fence. Run five yards to a six foot chain link fence. Climb over fence. Continue running another 25 yards. Then we have a solid fence climb. Run five yards to a six foot solid fence. Probably should say a wall, but climb over fence. Continue running another 25 yards. Then we have a 500 yard run. That's pretty self explanatory. Now, let's take a look at what Mr. Castiger is claiming in his lawsuit against Mercedes Benz. And I quote A once proud and independent man who protects the public from harm now relies on his wife to assist him with going to the bathroom, showering, brushing his teeth, getting dressed, and buttoning his shirt. He has great difficulties holding a pen, feeding himself, tying his own shoes, using tools, and assisting around the house with chores such as laundry and washing dishes. Now, while I don't fault anybody for wanting to get compensated for getting injured, it certainly does bring into question if Mr. Castiger is being truthful in his lawsuit, wouldn't want to perjure himself, that he can't even wipe his own ass, why are we as taxpayers paying this guy $168,000 a year? That's the question that we should have. If he wants to have a lawsuit and go retire off somewhere and get his $15 million, he should do that. But there's some kind of crazy game he's trying to play here. He's got a retirement already because he worked for the sheriff's department for 40 years. Now they bring him back in at $168,000 salary. Wait until you see what else I have found. And then he's going to go ahead and claim that he's completely disabled and sue Mercedes Benz. Is he collecting disability as well as a paycheck from the Pima County Sheriff's Department as well as a retirement from us, the taxpayers? Definitely going to find out for you guys. Well, I don't really want to hire a private investigator to follow the chief deputy around. I really would like to get my hands on this video. What's your name and your badge number? My name is Castigar. Oh, Castigar. And badge number? Pima 2. Pima 2. Okay. Come on. Shouldn't even be working here. Try to come at somebody with a gun, act like they're a good. That way we can see how well Deputy Doolittle here is handling his weapon. So if anybody knows who this guy is or can get in touch with him, have him send me that video in my email. It'll be in the description. And finally, remember when I told you guys earlier, Richard Castiger Jr., the name would be important? When I was looking through the paychecks for Richard Castiger, what popped up was a Richard Castiger and a Richard J. Castiger Jr. I thought maybe it was his son or something like that, but... Obviously, the Richard Castiger is the chief deputy sheriff. I don't think that's his son. So wouldn't it be Richard Castiger Jr.? Well, let's go back to the lawsuit. You can see right here, no. Richard J. Castiger Jr. is the chief deputy. Is he getting two paychecks, one for $160,000 and the other one for $60,000? I'm going to be looking into that next week. But you guys have a great day and see you next time.